Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Satellite of Love. And if I could say in all sincerity that it really is a satellite of love this week as I'm holding my annual auction to help the really good cause. Wait, 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 what's it for? It's for the really uh, sad kids with hurt puppies. Okay, <clears throat> Christy, if you please, how much am I bid for this first item? A penny. A penny. This classic, durable, handcrafted penny. I'll start the bidding at $85. <coughs> No? Who'll give me a dime? A penny? I, let's move on. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Christy, the, get oh. the nickel. Okay. Sure. Our staff the combed the globe looking for the best cost-no-object nickel, and this is it. What am I bid for this nickel? <clears throat> Come on. The hungry rainforest depends on... Uh, uh, well, let's move on. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Dollar. Dollar, hey. Uh, a dollar. Oh, no. I'd give you 60 cents for that, I guess. Um, it's 75. Sold! Okay, hey, let's tell you the grand total if you could. That's a pretty good deal. Christy, right. uh, let's see, it was a dollar for uh, six uh, for the items, uh, 12 bucks for the material to make the stand. Uh, the tux was 300 bucks, okay. Well, we lost only $312.31. <laughs> and next year, we'll lose even more. <laughs> Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, you cheap, heartless bastards. Wow. Uh, we'll be right back after I talk to Bob Geldof here. Bro! Bro, I, I think you should admit that your little auction fundraiser was nothing but a fraudulent attempt to line your own pockets with some easy cash. Uh-huh. You know, um, I hate to ask, what are you doing now? Uh, well, the angle of the sun is just right, so I, uh, I thought I'd burn this ant I found while I was organizing my oily rags. Oh, what next? An ant? Crow, doesn't that seem pointless and cruel? Oh, like there's gonna be some kind of divine retribution. <laughs> oh, maybe... Bingo! Oh, that's just <laughs> the saddest thing to think ah. of. Oh, no! Oh. My oily rags! Oh! <laughs> Hi, guys. Some bad news. Although I'm sure you could see it coming just as well as I could. I finally had to put Mom in a home. Clayton! She'd really been slipping lately, just off in another world. Like last week, she said, Clayton, where's the coat rack? <laughs> where's the coat rack? <laughs> we don't even have a coat rack. <laughs> well, I guess we do, but she's just, her mind is gone. Clayton, just... you get me out of this house right now. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. The flames have spread the crew's oily rags to level 12, mate! Sandbot, give me rocket number 9! Uh, uh, prepare to jettison the core! We don't have a core! We're all gonna die! Oh my God, Judy! Thank you for those kind words, but in the end, this is the sort of personal tragedy that we must deal with in our own way. Clayton, I don't like it in here! Well, I promised her I'd visit. Uh, it's, it's not a lot of fun, but uh, she does seem to enjoy seeing me. Oh, no! Yellow Mother, it's me, Clayton. Do you recognize me? Clayton, you let me out of here. Oh, well, I'd love to, Mother, but I can't. Uh, 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 uh. Clayton! Well, Mike, your movie this week is Escape 2000. It's really the kind of thing Mother would enjoy had she still had control of her faculties. Clayton! Clayton, I'm hungry! Clayton! Oh, I'm hungry. I'm tired. It never stops. Death would be a blessing. Oh, good God! Good thing we got movie fan and we're all gonna die! Okay. Well, wow, it was 
scary. Mm -hmm. huh? Hey, why is John Madden signing Samuel Goldwyn's signature? Samuel Goldwyn, father of the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the new draconian HUD policies. Hmm. Well. You are ordered to leave the Bronx. I repeat. You are ordered to leave the Bronx. I forgot my luggage. The area has been declared uninhabitable and destined for demolition. <laughs> leave now and leave peacefully. You okay, you convinced me. The government guarantees to relocate all of you in comfortable, up-to-date, <laughs> alternative accommodation. Mm -hmm. Leave the Bronx. Even though this is Italy, leave, leave the, Bronx. the Bronx. I repeat, you are ordered to leave the Bronx. <laughs> you too, Henry Silva. The area has been declared uninhabitable and destined for demolition. Therefore, we suggest you leave, leave the, the Bronx. Bronx. Leave peacefully. You have nothing to fear. The government guarantees to relocate all of you in comfortable, so leave the Bronx. Look, leave. Vote Johnson. Vote Johnson. Hey, I had the radio on. I didn't hear. Am I supposed to leave the Bronx? The area has been declared uninhabitable and destined for isolated area P6. And we have a bingo. Hold your cards, please. Area M3 is now complete. Right there. Lunch today, tater tots, jello, pigs in a blanket. Hang on, Earl. I got to read this sign here. Leave, leave, leave the Bronx. I repeat, you are ordered to leave the Bronx. Yeah, I got to tell you, it looks like everybody's left the Bronx, Ted. Much. We gratefully acknowledge the Reynolds Wrap Corporation for donating the costumes. I think they're really overselling the New Mexico thing. Well, I suppose I ought to leave the Bronx. <laughs> I thought it was a suggestion. When Habitat for Humanity cracks down. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you guys. Look, okay, I leave. I should have left earlier. Eliminate. Wow, the Orkin men have snapped. No, no that sting! Damn it, he should have left the Bronx. Second system for station group is now operational. Hmm? Go with group five. <laughs> I repeat, go with group five. The sector is H8. If you leave H9. the Bronx, we'll give you fudgicles. And H9. Group two and five covering sectors H8 and Ziggy H9. Ziggy Stardust. Mm. Skybor 3 to Central. Skybor 3 to Central. I'm over sectors M60 and M61. Negative readings. Repeat. Negative readings. Oh, and leave the Central Bronx. Central to Skyboy 3. Converge sector D8. Your man was sighted in the area of sector D8. He got by the Manhattan squad and they lost him. Make sure you don't do the same thing. Huh. You ought to try searching this method. Hold it. I think you're going to like this Hold one. It. I see something. A building. Stand by. Mm -hmm. Well, Valerie Bertinelli he hasn't left the Bronx. <laughs> Working on a sex farm. <laughs> I better get over to the zombie nightmare set. Skyboy 3 to Central. Skyboy 3 to Central. It's trash. We've got him. He's a sitting duck. He'll... <laughs> we finally got that son of a... Get out of sight. Mm, trash sense danger. The squibs were meant for me. We have mortgage subsidies for you if you'll just move to New Mexico. I'm a pretty good judge of people who aren't going to leave the Bronx, and this guy is one of them. Mm -hmm. Wow, it'd be horrible to die to the strains of David Sanborn. This was once a glorious McDonald's playland. Oh no, Dave's van! Oh, man. Come on, be a sitting duck like you were before. Any money? No! You just took down flying officer Irv Peterson. Woohoo! <laughs> wow. wow, staying up there a long time. Oh. I'd better take a light rap. It's all really annoying, because he was planning on leaving the Bronx anyway. What do you know? It looks like most of the buildings have left the Bronx. <laughs> Isn't this where they filmed Dollman? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. 
All units to D8. All units to D8. Group 9 covers Paris apartment. Something about despairing the partridge? I didn't catch it. See, this is the danger of expanding rock videos to full-length features. Yeah. Readings indicate he hasn't gone underground and he may be headed for his parents. Or Isn't perhaps his Aunt Sylvia. Whether trash shows up or not, the parents are to be eliminated. The parrots are to be eliminated? Are to be eliminated. Let's go. Yes, the Bronx, gateway to the Great Lakes. Graffiti's rather tame. Their uniforms have a black, breathable cotton panel. <laughs> We're here to see the one bedroom. Gary, how do you keep your helmet from fogging up? Why are the Mercury 7 here? We are the men from Service Master. Okay, first we'll ask them nicely to turn down their TV. Uh, they're rehearsing a David Mamet play. Well, I shouldn't have seen Showgirls before I came up here. If you want to go, you go. Oh, Joe, you know I wouldn't. Without, but maybe Is married to Mexico Joanne Worley? Bad. I mean, we never been there, so do we know? They're not throwing me out, damn it. I can't leave all this. They're not throwing me out of my own house. Please, Joe, do it for me. I'm tying daily. Are, we can't give in to those. We were born here. For Christ's sake. Bad guys, I think he said. Oh. I understand. I really do. I just don't think it's worth the pain <laughs> or worth the misery for living in fear. We're here to tenderize. Not getting the Tom of Finland posters. What am I going to do? Oh, no, I'll show him. I'll show him this. I got it at Sport Mart. Hey, guys, look at this. Ooh, got good aluminum on that one. Sir, would you at least take a watchtower? Ow. Come on. Come and get me. Uh, sir, by now, I'm sure you've heard about our Leave the Bronx program. My contact! Oh. Good one, big shot. You didn't want to leave the Bronx. No, not my fine washables. Uh, I'm ready to live the Southwest lifestyle. <laughs> A little taste of the weather in New Mexico. Kawasaki lets the good times roll. Ah, it's Evil Knievel's handicap access. <laughs> uh, I was sleeping up here! And I can't even have a cat in my apartment building. <laughs> purple rain, purple rain. He's got kind of an inconvenient parking spot. <laughs> got a big cash machine around here somewhere. Well, it's just a good thing he doesn't drive a bus. <laughs> Got to check my rope for cheese, man. Uh, where's the sound? Oh, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Peg, I hear you call. No, no. Debbie, I hear you call. No, no. <laughs> Satan? Satan? Welcome to the honeycomb hideout. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. Well, hi, Walker, Texas Ranger. What's that into you? The next time you don't give him the signal, <laughs> I intend to blow your brains out. Yeah, Trash, who do you think you are? The president? Yeah! God, don't tease Trash, I guess. Come on, I'm trying to. I'm Hello. in the shower. <laughs> now breakfast up. Mystery date. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Hi. It's the cast of fame. <laughs> In the Navy. One. Keep popping, baby. Say it, trash. Still alive, huh? Listen, honey, I am still waiting. Uh, no comment. Hey, what? Just let me shoot. Now slice it like a lot.
I really need this job. job. And two, and I want to have, and three, and... Ammo. Yes, for ammo, I bring you ammo. I sent you out for wax worms. Okay. Why are you getting so excited? Stay cool. Man, I tell you something. I really think you are pretty damn good. Coming and going all the time. <laughs> oh, well, isn't that nice? Flattering compliment. Nice to know you're pretty Prince needs a decaf pronto. Oh, by the way, <laughs> next time the price of ammunition's going up. Hey, don't you think you're ripping us open up? Amico de Caraca? I don't get you. <laughs> Vamos! <laughs> you deserve the Bronx gang. We're pulled up down here eating out of tin cans. Well? Uh, I need a check we're sign. We're alive and kicking, my friend. Uh, there's a soda delivery up front. Where is up there? They kill us like ants. Hey, hey, what's our FedEx number? There's a guy out front. Hello? Hey, what are you guys doing here? Get back to your post. Go hard. Cabrones. Go paint some more hats. Ooh. Ah, the one-minute manager. <laughs> Don't change the subject. Hey, look at that. Speak and talk a lot. It's all bark and no bite. Yeah, I brought you this. It's the lyrics that White Snake song is telling yeah. you about. Just in case you run out of toilet paper. Yeah, put that on still store. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the Bronx, they say. We got the solar houses and the chanting in New Mexico waiting for you. He got the puta! <laughs> the Italians <laughs> really embrace life. <laughs> Why you're laughing, they're wasting innocent people. You know what the problem with you guys is, Doblon? You ran too quick. Name is Toblon? Not even trying to make a stand. Well, the ones with guts didn't scare so easy. Mm. Oh, sure. Look at the talking. Superman! <laughs> well, what about my old man and my old lady? And others like them. Just try and move them out of the Bronx. Nah, you turn chicken too soon. That's all. You had any brains? You tell them to come here. Underground. We got a great food court. <laughs> so this investor will never come here. Ha 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 ha. Why did I think this was a good idea? <laughs> New positive reading, sector H8. Renegade. Uh, may I suggest a rake? Ah, <laughs> uh, Sector H8. I love it here. Oh, man. If only there'd been enterprise zone legislation, none of this would be a problem. This would be... Hey! Oh, sorry, Dad. Gee. Well, geez. <laughs> so he parked in your space. Come on. All right, I got the accordion. <laughs> place is just filled with oily rags. It's great. It's some of the politest, most informative graffiti I've ever seen. Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee. Have you seen a knife like this? But wait, there's more. <laughs> ah, now he'll flash back to the Shaolin Monastery. <laughs> Adam Sandler, get him! Get him! Yes! Yes! yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, George Hamilton didn't know when to stop tanning. <laughs> Wash and go, Pert Plus. <laughs> Sorry, Uncle Ron. <laughs> A horrible fondue accident. <laughs> we just wanted to dry off the cat. <laughs> that was my favorite chair. You should have left the Bronx, Dad. He took out Horseshack. He's dead already. Come on. Dad? Kathy Bates. <laughs> Lorenzo Lamas in the Gino Vanelli story. Dinner's in the fridge, honey. Yet her Orlon sweater survived. Oh. Can I have the overturned chair? This, ladies and gentlemen, will be the New York of the future. The most magnificent architectural complex ever created by man. The eighth wonder of the world. Me. This work of genius, ladies and gentlemen, was conceived and promoted by our president, Mr. Clark, who has committed all the company's resources to the project. 
Wow, the new stuff killed. Thank you very much. Yes, I invented New York City. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As you can all see, it's a suspended city. Linked to the other inhabited zones. Will it still be a hell of a town, sir? A perfect, ordered, civilized metropolis. A future city. Get your hand off my ass. Man, serviced by the most modern technology available. Every building will have selectric typewriters. A city in which there are no social blocks. Areas of poverty, illiteracy, and crime. Uh, built in. Like the Bronx will have been totally eliminated. <laughs> it's about time. The Bronx is a public disgrace. Right on. It should go. The crime rate's horrendous. <laughs> the Bronx is a plague. <laughs> it's not to be relieved. The people from those areas are guaranteed accommodation and a higher standard of living in New Mexico. That just isn't true. Honey, please. Why the hell don't you admit you're deporting and killing them? That you're causing accidents and epidemics to eliminate those people who put up the slightest resistance to being thrown out of their rightful homes. Get her out of here. But I'm with Parade! A fascist Canada Italian? Come on. This is supposed to be a democracy. You all just don't believe a word they're saying. It's lies. Get her out. This isn't a press conference. It's a farce. An unadulterated, filthy, dirty farce. You hear me? And the GC Corporation sucks. Is that true? Do you suck? Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a democracy. Mm -hmm. It's only right. You mm -hmm. answer the questions asked by bona fide professional journalists. Sir, what's bona fide mean? Not the hysterical outbursts of so-called crusaders. Probably that time of the month for her. Uh... Continue, Mr. Hoffman. Um, I, I was pretty much done. Any questions? The Bronx has been in quarantine for two months. When will the press and television be allowed in? When the killing's done. The epidemic isn't under control yet. And that isn't the worst danger we want to avoid exposing you to. Uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Hoffman, exactly what danger do you mean? <laughs> well, the Bronx has become a kind of no-man's land, controlled by street gangs. As for the transfer of the, let's say, mm. honest residents, what truth is there in the rumor of their being forced out? Steve it's total nonsense. Hey, they you. have been financially compensated and relocated with their full consent. Uh, what evidence is there? Uh, what evidence? We have a great deal of photographic documentation showing their current splendid residential areas in New Mexico. Plus affidavits from the thousands who've gone there. <laughs> now, all this will be made public as soon as the operation is completed. Attention! Attention! Abandon all buildings. Ye who enter this is here. A final warning. Abandon all buildings. The Bronx has hit an They're iceberg and is sinking. Demolished. Abandon all buildings. They are about to be demolished. And I'm mainly talking Attention. to you, Steve. Attention! This is your final warning. Abandon all buildings. They are about to be demolished. <laughs> I think they blew their cover here. <laughs> they are about to be demolished. Attention. Mm -hmm. Abandon all buildings. Mm -hmm. What's the word from headquarters, sir? We now go for a response from headquarters. The very large corporation of America. There he is. Get him! <laughs> Um, reporter, peas and carrots. Journalist, peas and carrots. Investigative sassafras. But that's not really our Nothing story. You don't already know. That's cool. Oh, yeah. See you later. Huh, another great scene. Look, however much good we do, there are always those who find some reason or other to knock it. When will a demolition ceremony be? How are you answering the UN Human Rights Commission? It's all in the dossier we gave. President Lincoln, you had a question. I can't. What's the best way to take care of leg cramps? Is it really bad to clean your toaster with a knife? How do I invest in a Fannie Mae? All information is in the dossier. You didn't dare include the identity of who you put in charge of the Bronx evacuation, Floyd Wangler. And we all know who Floyd Wangler is, don't we? A torturer, an expelled prison warden, a killer. Please, please, if you could keep all your rhubarbs to a minimum. Oh, jeez, I won't build the development. Boy, you try to be nice. Yeah, here's your man, Floyd Wangler, hired killer. Okay. Mm. 
set up. Now you okay. want to keep it below this line. Hey, what's right. with all the lamp cord here? Is some Radio Shack project gone horribly wrong? <laughs> oh, you big dope. It's biofeedback. Helps with my headaches, and I thought I'd get Crow set up here so we can relax. Biofeedback? Yeah. Ah, what a load of crap. It's nothing but snake oil, my friend. No, it sounds cool. Come on, you losers. Didn't you see that 160 Minutes episode? No. No? Well, I'm sure there was one, and they found out that biofeedback is a bunch of hoo-ha. Lamos. Never mind, Mike. All that matters is if it works. Uh, does it? Well, sure seems to help me. Okay, you're set. Okay. Now, uh, <clears throat> just relax, and you'll start to feel your fingertips warm up, okay? okay. Just relax, okay? Right. Relax, and now the tension will slowly start to melt away, okay? All right, great. All right, now relax. Good, you're doing a good job. Just relax. We got a fire! <laughs> what is it, Servo? I don't know. We got several small, spontaneous fires bursting out throughout the ship. Don't, um, no, back it off a bit. Uh, 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 get Gypsy, go to condition red! Ah, okay. uh, uh, yes. Very restorative. Uh. Yes, I just love that charbroiled flavor. Oh, yes, uh, crispy skin. Oh, Maybe I should go to a junior college for a while. Okay, Trash, let's take it again. Remember, you're really upset. Your parents have been fried, and... Ah, forget it. Evacuate all buildings at once. Are they still on that kick? Warning. Demolition squad are about to go into action. I repeat, evacuate all buildings at once. Demolition squads are about to go into action. The remaining pizza Demolition will go on sale. Go into action. This is your final <laughs> warning. I repeat, this is your final warning. I want to carry it. I want to carry it, Seb. Oh. Check the moon Coming up. Coming up. Henry Silva, supplied by Renta Silva. There's still somebody inside, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I was off in some daydreamy world. What did you say was inside? Well, sir. I said there's still some, but... Oh, right. Uh, rats? Roaches? Perhaps I didn't make myself... Oh, I see. Very clever, sir. Right. Proceed! Jeez, he's got Ricky Ricardo Tourette syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> come on, move your butt. Take over that building now. Run! Right, on, Chauffeur is going to clean up this town. That building, dynamite it. Or hang batteries on it or something. You! Lick me! Move that truck! <laughs> I hate middle management. Mr. Wangler, sir. Call for Mr. Clark for you. Fine, I'll take it now. Good, since he's on the phone All now. All move back under cover. Demolition is about to start. All the move the back. They're ditching us. Gary saw silverfish. Ah! Oh, realistic makes one that says explode, not explode. Frank sneezed. <laughs> Hey, from the inside, it's not so bad. Mm. Gee, was today the day where we were supposed to leave the Bronx? <laughs> War torn the Bronx. Uh, I gotta call Schneider. Geez, I hope I can still get my mailbox open. Uh, for the rent I pay, I should not have to put up with this crap. This is why they don't allow hot plates. I wish that they would at least put up a sign when the elevator is out. Oh, the Bronx is something which I should have left. <laughs> well, it was going well till then. They're blowing up models to get rid of him. Ah, the Ladder of Damocles. <laughs> Yeah, so far, his greatest adversary is a ladder. Barracuda! <laughs> Should I move or, or no? Or move? Hmm? This is tension, right? Yeah. This caretaker job is harder than I thought it would be. Jeez. Is it Monday? <laughs> Must get to White Snake tapes. <laughs> uh, this would make a cool coffee table. I gotta save it. Someone left a burrito in the microwave. 
<laughs> it tossed him into the streets of Rio Bravo. <laughs> Listen, Wangler, I've got the media on my back from morning to night, and I don't know what to tell them anymore. I'm paying you damn good money. Well, it's Italian money. And look at the results I get. Are you anywhere in this car? In five days, the Bronx operation is coming up at the U.N. And I've got jazzercise. You know what they're calling your methods? Genocide. Oh, his head shaped like a peanut. The technical term <laughs> is disinfestation. Disinfestation? Now, you pay me to take care of the technical side. Mm -hmm. The moral part is, is not my sector. Mm. The important thing is to, to do the job cleanly. The disinfestation? Mr. Wengler, in 1986, despite all our technical know-how, we did not succeed in getting rid of the rats. That's the plot of Feifel Goes West, anyway. Now, these people, if you can call them that, they are a, uh, a race apart. Isn't he Michelle Lee? They were left of the... Gangs that battle for the Bronx. I'm not speaking to you anymore. You're worse than they are, Mr. Wangler. Allow me to correct you, Mr. Clark. I'm worse than anybody. Except that one guy, he was really worse. There's gotta be a launching pad around here somewhere. One set of love and it was a gas. Soon to be. They just started to leave. What? Well, we'll have to be what? Them in the I, I don't. Depot. What do I, I do? Burn him? Nothing. Yeah, let's go. We must protect this dirty box. Ha! Ah, the cast of any cable access program. You no, know, I actually don't mind if they burn these guys. <laughs> Hi. Say, you guys feel like leaving the Bronx? Ah, Mr. Homeless People. Once again, we see there's nothing you can possess that I cannot take away. <laughs> Come on, wake up. No, I'm a ghost. Boo. <laughs> Is this your indigent? Hmm. Do you know if they lived in Manhattan, they could have gotten rid of the Jeffersons? <laughs> yeah, the chicken under his coat. <laughs> Let's take the channel. How about a little fire, spaceman? Quit disinfestating us. Ew, ew. Ooh, chunks. Understood, Skyboy 5. Am I thinking that or hearing that? To all that? disinfestation squads. To all disinfestation squads. Emergency alert. He's got a toupee under his nose. On sector R2R. Repeat, R2R. Terra is our strength. Could you... And he isn't even afraid of us. We... we... The gangs must not be allowed to find a oh, leader. God, um, We've got to find the trash and kill him now. Later in enchanting New Mexico. Now it's kind of out of the way, but they've got great omelets. Down here's my bong room. Are you sure you know where the fuse box is? Kathy Ladman, Private Eye. Look to this slum, graduate. Here comes the bookmobile. <laughs> Snipes, Bertinelli, Escape 2000. Right under LaGuardia Square. She's got a Bobby Fleckman voice. Judging from the stink, I'd say we're under the public toilet. Oh, that's my Chanel. Oh, shoot, I need a jump. You guys have cables? Crash, you're missing your welding class. Uh, you're kind of in my way, you lock my uh, right. You twirl around. Are you? Ooh, I'm driving my life Are away. You sure so, you like it? We have to risk it, Jay. What the hell for? You think four lousy pictures of their dirty work's gonna change things? So far, talking's done no good. Come on. Mandy Patankin gets a tour of the sewer. Beep, beep. Howard Stern in West Side Story. Beep, beep. Formerly Dan's Diaper Service, now the Annihilation Squad. Your DAS Marching Band. <laughs> Oh, 
The Good Humor Organization in a show of force. Under no circumstances look to the right, men. They've got Rhoda Morgenstern. Steve Dallas, terrorist. Ever since the salmonella outbreak, the Schwann's truck needs high security. <laughs> Can we ride in the van? I mean, there's nobody in there. Steven Tyler, action hero. Good luck, let me know what happens. If they see us, we've had it. Just thought you should know that. I regret nothing. Sonia Braga looks on. I was unable to make them leave the Bronx. Should have cut ear holes in this thing. Let me you. Get away, get away. I'm ripped with a bomb. Get away, go on with it. Seems stupid in retrospect. Get out of here. Nice slide, and he's safe. <laughs> oh, I'm shot, and then you trip me. Great. <laughs> but if they see us, we've had it. I'm going to take the crap out of this picture. You've seen me, and I've had it. <laughs> it's a funny gag lighter. I, oh. I know it's wrong, but he smells delicious. No, oh, there was supposed to be a mat. <laughs> you know, a year after they restore the Bronx, it's going to be karate schools anyway. Yeah. Red Belitnikov. It's the SWAT bread delivery. <laughs> Jeez, look at all this good particle board people are throwing away. Hey, I wonder if that's the dirty box from earlier. Mm. She looks like Shelley Duvall after a drinking binge. <laughs> oh, please, ma'am, if you go to New Mexico, you'll have a nice view of cacti. Uh, you could live in a really nice artist colony. You, you might meet Joni Mitchell. Hello? Wow, did I do that? She looks like a guy dressing up like Diana Ross. So, now the loving begins. Ah! Come on, follow my hair. Aren't these corporations funny? Yeah. You peed in my locker, didn't oh. you? Let them both get away. Girl and that delinquent trash. Rockwell wants his coat back. Huh. I don't think so. They're both under uh, there. Uh, oh, maybe uh, there. Uh, right there. But somewhere yeah. there. <laughs> maybe you intend to go down to convince them to waste themselves with some dynamite. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> you guys didn't break. rehearse, did you? <laughs> that is before the truth comes out. A well, layman wouldn't understand. Nobody knows they're there. It's easy to make people who don't officially exist disappear. The speakerphone is right. Can you ever love me? Yes. Only we've got to catch them by surprise. If we let them get away, it's going to be very tough. Uh, but the place is full of tunnels. I'm just blue skying here, but... Passageways. Sewers. Mm -hmm. It's like a... A, a thing that... Does some it's like a jungle without trees or humidity it's or really tires. a wonderful place. <laughs> Why are you? Hey, get ready for a lot of laughing. <laughs> oh, yes, a reporter girl. <laughs> I hear about that on the radio. You know, you're really something. You got me so I can't sleep at night. You cow that stinks. I was born here in the Bronx. <laughs> That's why I get too worked up about it. <laughs> the show is about to begin. Things are looking bad. I'll say. If you don't do something down here to protect yourselves, you'll be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a big slab of Toblerone here. Um, Jess? Got the crap. What about you? Have your plans to stay out in the open? You think you can stop them? Huh? 
<laughs> Listen, thief of Baghdad. You really think you guys are safe down here? Baby, they will never come down here. They know very well we'll bust up their asses if they do. The blonde! I want to be called the blonde. Part the wave. Part the wave. Come on. Come on, give me some laughing room here. What is it, honey? I found this in the tunnel under the old schoolhouse. This disinfector is poking his nose around. Suddenly, I, I feel sweated. sad. I did right, didn't I? I'm not laughing very yeah, much today. Yeah. What's in those guys? It's the mm. first time they came here. They never did before. They want to rebuild the Bronx. You think they'd go ahead with you jerks down here? Listen to her, Dublon. She's got a point. Rat woman is right. right. <laughs> Nobody will sit on a job. Full of dynamite. I did it once, and it was a mistake. Sky Boy 5, I repeat the message. Check the hidden entrance on the slaughterhouse. Hmm? Hidden entrance on the slaughterhouse. I'm Cherokee, Corner Jack. <laughs> 23A and 51A. I'm Repeat. tired and my feet Corner hurt and it's hot. A and 51A. It's the annual also, paper drive in the Bronx. The stadium locker rooms, north side, same sector. Nah, it's hard being a Nazi. I should have just been a pirate. <laughs> I love opening night, don't you? You turn me right round, baby, right round. And then let them come. We'll be ready. God, I love show business. Juana, what are you doing here? Go back outside and keep your eyes open. Understand? Right. Okay, boys, ten minutes. Hurry We're up. the good Nazis, aren't we? <laughs> Hey, Jack, put those Hot dog, here, get your Hebrew right? national francs here. Yeah. not going to settle anything with shooting and killing. I've tried to make trash. You realize that, too. Have a big bowl of coffee for breakfast. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Tell them, come in, make yourself at home, huh? <laughs> No. To lick them, you got to force the GC I don't want to lick them. Negotiate uh, hey, Alibaba, there's only one way. Nosferatu. <laughs> Kidnap their president. I do not feel like laughing. What's wrong with me? Kidnap the president. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but, uh... oh. Anyway, that's how we got the guy out of the cheese cutter. Hey, give me a cold one there, will you, Sporter Uno? Okay. <laughs> that was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. He was uh, wearing his cover all through. He was nothing but a bag of blood. Hey, you got that bullet coming there? I don't think we have any bullets. Come on, come on. Hook me a brewski there. Oh, hey, 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 hey. They reshilled the Thiesman injury. I got it on tape. I got a forehead VCR so we can freeze it. It's great. Right, come on, crack me one. Oh, open a window. Sure. Oh, where's my 12-ounce curl there, buddy? Uh, we didn't bring any curls. I think oh, you're coming over for the game? Over. I got it surrounds out. It's going to be great. Come on, a tisson. I want to be a mountain man. Oh, well, that would be a nice thing to be. Thing there, pal. You're not doing too well. Come on, eat up, eat up. We got more steaks, too. Hey, come on, it's Miller time. Oh, really? I didn't realize it gotten so... No, 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 no. Come on, I got a dead soldier here. Oh, I'm sorry. That must be terribly tragic for you. Would you snag me one? <laughs> snag? No, stop that. Now, come on, pop me one. Okay, I'll have to come around to do it. Oh, God, I love men's night. This is great. Oh, we got movie side. Come on. How about oh, here? How can anybody cross New York without uh, being shot? Oh, dinosaur pasta. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They all be against us. Then, um, the police, and maybe the National Guard. Is there any milk? They're talking about up above. What if somebody crawled all the way underneath the city? There are people who've done it, aren't they? The robbery of the first <laughs> bank. Then there was the time they cleaned out Tiffany. They had the... Uh, that crazy strike. Got right. Is he around anymore? Oh, he's around uh, all right, but uh, he would change his hole for a villa on Long Island. Is he hard to find? No. But the hard thing is to find him in a good mood. Why? What if he's in a bad mood? Then you got a problem. A big problem. Oh, sorry. Oh, I get it. This is a metaphor for something. <laughs> My coffin is right over here. <laughs> Radar levels are really high down here. No. Trust Industries. 
Yes, of course, Al. I don't know, loading, I guess. There's nothing in the papers this morning. Yes, with the Gore-Tex, right. Okay, Al. Yeah, the extra large is fine. I'll go there myself and see what I can do. Will there be a broth that are on duty? Don't mention it, Al. It's my pleasure. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass the catalog on to a friend. Okay. Uh -huh. Bye, Al. What a mess. He wants the hospital finished before the elections. Well, at least we have his promise that he'll see Washington doesn't interfere in our Bronx business. Here's my report card. You have to sign yeah. it. But this damn hospital is costing us all of $80 million. I don't know who's worse, the politicians or the gangs. Or the rat woman. Yeah. <gasps> Lupita, no. Overload, overload. Listen, I like your style, but uh, go easy with that thing. Huh? I gotta see Strike. Go strike. back home. I gotta see Strike. We did that line. Only if I say, okay. I hear when Strike comes into the movie, it really picks up. Watch out for the wire. She's so popular. Boom. Boom. Uh, your magic isn't very good, kid. Uh, it always makes for great cinema when the caretaker shows an apartment. How can you have any meat if you don't eat your pudding? So what do you think? Gas and electric are included. Put down a small deposit. Dark sarcasm in the classroom. Hey! Thing, put the Luger down. Strike? Strike? Are you kidding? It was way outside. <laughs> oh, that's a great confession. You certainly <laughs> must have heard I'm crazy, right? Sure did. Sure I did, lady. Oh. <laughs> heard you're the craziest? <laughs> oh, no. But you're also the greatest. Are you the president the thing ever? We need you to kidnap the president. Of the United States? No, the GC Corporation. Yeah. Sure, I heard. You really think I didn't know? They're especially out to get you. I must have the scarf. It's so kicky. <laughs> oh, watch out. Her other jaw is going to shoot out. This is so red hot. Oh. <clears throat> and rightly so. How else could they have succeeded? <sighs> With the robbery of the century without you. Can I get you a glass of blood? In the National Bank, John. <laughs> <laughs> and what about... She looks like if Gilda Radner and Satan had had a baby. How about time we empty box mm. Well, there are probably experimental mind-altering drugs that'll make me want to kiss her, but I don't. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's in it for me? That's simple. If they want their president back, they have to put things back the way they were. No, doesn't affect me at all. Bronx will be back in the hands of the gangs means you'll go back to being the number one guy for all the big robberies. Well, that's sweet, Trash. Instead of hiding out down here. Got a point there. Dude, trash. Trash. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> you can count on me. I must have blood. Get ready, Junior. We're going on a job. School waits another year. Fine. What do you plan to do with the kid? Ah, I wouldn't think of doing a job without him. Well... Well, yeah, but, well, uh, oh. It's okay by me, honey, if you really want to bring this, uh, this useless slob along. So the hero of our movie has to go hire another hero. Don't try it again, I'm a pro. Shrive me, fool. Shrive me, fool. Hmm. <sighs> Meanwhile, in Schaumburg, Illinois... It's Friday afternoon, the employees of Citicorp turn the speakers out of the windows. <laughs> Wilford Brimley is 007. Oh, sorry, sir. I was rocking out in here. Driver, take me down to the mailbox. Ah, she's looking for a place to hang upside down for the night. <laughs> now listen. It's going to get much rougher from here on in. So be on your guard. There are more ways to die down here than there are in a Bruce Lee film. What are some of his H1's films? on his own. If anybody gets hurt or has to stay behind for any reason, don't count on help. 
I'm setting the thing, Plump. You know, he looks like Persis Kambata. Another hard-hitting look at cities with buildings. Who is the boy? He's yours, remember? Believe it or not, he's my son. And you keep him buried down here? What? Is up there better? <laughs> yeah, it looks great, actually. Traffic's pretty moderate. Oh, hey, we got a great uh, waterfront park here. We've been waiting an hour. Why don't we just go? And now another look at love, American style. <laughs> Neat, how did he do that with the package of things? Uh, now the hero subcontractor has to subcontract to his kid. I'm doing the traffic report. No, I am. Boy, I miss Toblerone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Moon, let's leave your bag over there. Mm -hmm. Is his name Moon W. Trash? <laughs> Place your charges uh, about 10 feet apart. Yeah, right. I'll take care of this. You go ahead and suck face with Vampira. I just really, really miss Toblerone. Okay, okay, I get to it. <laughs> oh. Ah, what was I going to say? Damn. Um, We're going out now. I've explained everything. You know what to do. Yeah, okay. Good it's luck. Weird courtship of Eddie's father episode here. Jim Henson's Chairman Mao Babies. <laughs> I'll catch up on my Marxist dogma while they're up there. Coming in low out of the rising sun. Scares the hell out of the executives. Something about, uh, because you mentioned bank lines and, ah. Well, hey, it is better up here. A lot better. Are you coming? What are you doing? Gee. Hey, uh, Skipper, look at the terrorists over there. Mm -hmm. On sale, Seabro Barges. Own a genuine Seabro Barge. Seabro <laughs> Barge Company. Access access. Uh, anyone seen Lieutenant Kojak? Tall, bald, ugly. Anyone? Uh, we're looking for Petrocelli over here. I was just waiting for Banachek to show. I think they all carpooled. Blocked all the roads leading to the island. How do we get in? Trash makes a contribution. We're in already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to go across town to this great bar I know. English <laughs> bar. Fantastic. Hey, the the hey, what is this? The hem party? Oh. Shape up. Come on, you're not on vacation. Follow me. we got a job to do. Well, I'll tell you about this bar I know later with all the brides and all the, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, i got to tell you about this lunch I had one time. There were broads and lunch and broads. <laughs> Oh, uh, guys, I sweated all over the corp. <laughs> Sorry. This is driving me crazy. I can't remember what I was going to say. Again, the movie states unflinchingly that there is a city. Let's see. Toblerone recommended the Guggenheim. Maybe. Where the heck did the city go? <laughs> I'm glad we got those noise cancellation shoes. You know, I am the undead. I shouldn't be out in the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are on East Island with a beautiful view of the Manhattan skyline. Mm -hmm. but the official ceremony for the commencement of the demolition of the old historic Gothic castle is about to begin. In its place will be the new children's hospital. And Weekly Reader News is on the scene. I'll get back to my report in a minute, but I just love helicopters. The trash just seems lost. <laughs> the promise keepers are there. There's a bunch of white guys down there, sir. Is that them? Do that thing. Hands in pockets, look up. And now we simply kidnap him. Gotta say, expected more of a turnout for the destruction of ye old Gothic castle. <laughs> the helicopter has just landed and Mr. Henry G. Clark is getting off. <laughs> Ready to greet him is New York State Governor Malcolm Biddle. Don't laugh at his name, he gets mad at that. I bet this live coverage is really pulling in the numbers. Mm -hmm. 
Folks, I know you're all excited about the munitions plant going. I'm, I mean the children's hospital. Hello, Mr. Clark. How was your trip? Very good, thank you. Ah, please come with me. Would you like a pop? We have some photographers waiting here. They're going to be snapping some pictures. And some bras. We want New Yorkers to know who the man is who's Hello, building Clark. their future city you? for them. It gives a little notoriety. Never heard anyone. Where's the buffet? Maybe some questions <laughs> as well, if you don't mind. No, no, not at all. It's your friend the favors, Mr. Clark, president <laughs> and main stockholder of General Construction Corporation, mm -hmm. has not only donated the entire island to the state, but generously agreed to do the complete raising job free of charge. Shh, shh. These mule deer are extremely wary. Delta One, oh. Delta One. Yeah. Radio links established. Okay. Right. Situation? Everything here is under control. This Understood. is good gum. <laughs> this is a message to unit leaders. Message to unit leaders. Until the ceremony is over, all river crafts, including ferries, are to be kept clear of the island. Hey, that's now not report fair. The situation. What a Sigma two. Over. Area one is covered. Roger, Sigma two. Omega <laughs> six, Hi. come in, please. Omega six. Should we Watson spread out or something? <laughs> Roger. Table three. Table three here. Oh, yeah, table three. Well Check down. Move on to area five. Oh, sorry, I'll get you later. Wow. And on behalf of the General Construction Corporation, mm -hmm. I have the great honor of asking Governor Biddle... Not Piddle. ...to give the first blow of the pick. Thank you very much, Mr. Clark. I'm very proud. Don't screw it up, Piddle. I'll show him who's Piddle. I'll bring this cathedral down with a mighty blow of my hammer. Uh, ow! Uh, ow! Right it is my wrist. The governor has just given the first symbolic blow of the pick to the wall of the old building, <laughs> marking the beginning of the demolition. The new children's hospital to be constructed by Mr. Clark's company will be styled blended with the Eight Wonder Project for the future. The complete rebuilding of the Bronx to a fashionable residential area. Bench punch, you guys. One of our campaign promises. By God, we're going to carry it up. Skarsky and Carol King. Frank, what are we doing? Oh, I think we need a little diversion. I'll take care of it, Conan. Why don't you call me Conan? Where did you get oh. Conan? I know what to do. Go to it. A rubbery Jimmy Smiths. <laughs> lies! They're all lies! It's about time the truth was told! News! This is actual news! What's really going on in the Bronx? nosy crusader again. I can tell you because I've seen it with my own eyes. People are being slaughtered in there, exterminated. And this genocide is being condoned by our dear governor. Why don't you admit it, Governor Biddle? Not Piddle. Why don't you admit that you're in cahoots with Clark? That you're giving GCC Clark blush to assure stop her. your re-election? Um, stop. He's got a gun. Hmm? He's going to shoot Mr. Clark. Kill her. <laughs> nice governor. <laughs> Murder at some historic cathedral somewhere. Nosferatu was murdered today. Now we need a wooden stake here. The rodent kingdom mourn the loss of the Rat Queen today. <laughs> this is just plain crooked. I hate evil corporations that try and evacuate the Bronx and plant guns. Yeah. Oh. Just burns me. Colonel Mustard looks nervous. Trash stumbles into the middle of the action. Trash has got Italian bun huggers. <laughs> There's something sort of Richard Dreyfusinian about this guy. <laughs> Exploding boards! <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Murdering Clark. Uh, just Mr. Clark is fine. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. He's being kidnapped by Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Todd! <laughs> Battleship Potemkin's losing a lot of crew. Just leave a salt lick for the rabbits and... Stay down. Sega! <laughs> the physics of this make no sense. To all emergency units operating around the Bronx, President Clark has been kidnapped. Repeat, GCC President Clark has been kidnapped. <laughs> What's with the drum sound? <laughs> ah, they're looking for Frog One. Connection. And now pinch in the silent spot. I've grown to like flank. Strike. Strike. Up. 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 Come on, there's no sound in here. 
This trampoline accident could have been avoided. Never use a trampoline with unstable TNT in your pocket. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this is an outrageously funny Italian movie. I think it was originally conceived as a still photograph. Back when ballet dancers moonlighted as chauffeurs. <laughs> Skyboy 9 to Central. I may have something. Over. I think it may be a cold. Over. The old historic Gothic Castle subway stop. Gotta get at the canned peaches. Go on. No, please. I don't have any tokens. Hey, Grandma, we got another one. <laughs> what do you want from me? Who are you? Shut up! Don't make me think. I can't multitask. <laughs> Squad number two to the sewer system north of the port. Squad nine to the subway tunnels in sector four. The 125th Street entrance. Come on, move it! All right, the bobsled team has arrived. Good. Move it! It's always the last action. Is that the way to motivate Wade? Go to the door now. Uh, I was in the basement. Does uh, something happen up here? Huh. The movie's backing up. The ones who went after them are all dead, too. I'm on the phone. Hello. Wangley here. Shift 7 Squad right. to the Bronx. And give me an OK. Operation Stop Flink. You people never learn. You've got to hit them first. Yes, I know, but... I'm hello? on the phone. <laughs> OK. Intercept them before they reach the Bronx. And don't go the same way they did. It's all tore up. Go around. <laughs> I'm on my way to the Bronx to direct operations myself. And Squadron 9 arrives at the Carnegie Deli. Must make liquor delivery. Squad 8 to emergency exit Hurry, hurry! We didn't get a permit to film. Beware of possible dynamite charges. That's always good advice. Mm -hmm. I can't see where this would continue for another 20 minutes. The Bronx is leaking. Hold it. Is this moisture going to frizz my hair out? Listen, whatever happens, I'd like to get something, something straight between us. You coming on to me? No way. <laughs> Dump my used oil in the gutter. Really think that I and I alone am responsible mm -hmm. for all the, the unpleasant things that have been going on in the Bronx. Mm -hmm. It's very complicated, you understand. The decisions were not all mine. Yeah, but you're still a wheel. Whoops! Run! <coughs> so? Okay! Ha -ha. Let's go! I gotta get you to kindergarten. Let's move it! Maybe this is a chick film and we just don't get it. You know, we haven't taken the time to enjoy the death of that devil vampire woman. You ever think, Ernie, that the filth coming down could have been your own? Ooh. Oh, we spotted some floaters, sir. Ooh. <laughs> Sir, we're okay. That's what these suits are for. Ah! Panicking commander. The director had a vision. Make guys jump in slow motion. Mm -hmm. This flame-proof suit sucks. Oh! Jeez. Bring back Tobler. Yeah, we, we want, want Tobler. So these apartments, the kitchens will be real open and airy, laundry on every floor. Well, this is going to be a terrific development. We always jump and forget to shoot. <laughs> Guard! Uh, oh, wait. Schmook? Trunk? Zip? I'm afraid. Chunks? Crawl? Flap? Twerk? Ryan? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I tore a groin muscle. Jeez, it looks like Prince of Persia. Well, it's nicer than the Soldier Field bathrooms. <laughs> hey, the Los Angeles River. Tonight on the Channel 9 News. Strike! Nice. It sounds like the Banachek suite for orchestra and guitar. <laughs> You too can play the electric guitar in two days. Don't shoot! It's me, Clark, don't shoot! Am I glad to see you guys? Oh, high bouncing bullets. 
<laughs> Look, just leave the Bronx. We're just trying to do our job. <laughs> hey, it's our one guy. Blink, Spinch, is that you? Hmm? Are you a one guy? Can't decide who I like better. John John Rambo. You try that again and you look like a tea strainer. A hostage is no good dead. I've got to be worth something. If we're going through all that much fuss topside, then you know who to root for, right? Oh. Dork, I'm surprised at you. Because if we make it, so do you. They're coming. They're coming. Where are they? Hang on, I'll come over there. Right now, don't tell them for. Charger set? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on, you heard him. Nato, tell him for. Move! Oh, I was Come hoping on, we'd see up. that darling explosion gesture he makes. Maybe I just need to lay down for a minute. Hmm. No, no, I'm fine. Sick dope. No, I think I better fine. Lay down. Come on, have a little of this. Oh, no, uh, hey, no, what would the Mads be calling at this uh, hour for? Uh, Okay, it's like this, Nelson. I've been going over your Arbitron numbers, and despite our efforts to boost your ratings, they've been flat a -roo. We tried MST nights, but the network just didn't go for it. Frankly, I blame you guys. Us? Why? Why? Because there's no kid. Every successful television show has had a winsome child of some sort. Take your uh, family affairs, your full houses, your the Avengers. The Avengers didn't have a cute kid. Well, split hairs if you will. The point is we need something cute on the show. Gentlemen, I give you Timmy Bobby Rusty. Huh? Huh? Timmy Bobby Rusty? Come on, look, he's got red hair. Dr. Fausto, are you my daddy? No. Well, Mike, adorable, huh? I can already feel those ratings going boom. Timmy Bobby uh, Rusty. <laughs> what does Timmy Bobby Rusty do exactly? Do? What does he do? He's adorable, and people will love it. <laughs> oh, that must be the Arbitron numbers. <laughs> hey, lady, are you my nana? Look, Clay, I gotta be honest. I don't like kids. Oh, damn. Timmy Bobby Rusty didn't bring the ratings up one scintilla. <laughs> well, don't worry, Nelson. There's still my nude celebrity trap shoot. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> Send a squad. <laughs> Down the manhole. Yonder manhole? Eight didn't get through. Why waste any more squad? Who's this personal injury lawyer who keeps showing up? Because we're leading them into a trap. They cannot get out of the Queen's sewers or the Manhattan lines either. Mm. Fine. Well, don't get mad. It's true. Come on. I'll be in my office waiting for news, good or bad. And get those oven mitts off your shoulders. <laughs> Hello. Yes, Wangler. I want to win a Wangler. What are those idiots doing? Sleeping? Oh, they are sleeping. Listen, <laughs> I want a squad sent to the East End sewer now. Sir, we're ready to go down now. Hurry it up. OK, yo, gotcha. What's the delay? Go down quickly. Hmm? Where are you? Oh. Where are you? Oh, where are you? Oh. Oh, that was my saw ear trash. There, against the wall. You guys will never make it. We might. Come on. <laughs> if you let me go, I promise I'll talk. Shut your damn trap. We know your promises. Are you guys going to blow us up again? No. Uh, Turn out. Go, go. Hmm? Come on, big shot. Let's go. Oh, bummer. Hope they don't blow our crotches up. <laughs> oh, what did you step in? Oh, don't wait. I got it's all twisted. Oh, damn. Hold it. No, I'll be on you go wait, that way. Wait, 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 wait for me, because we, we all got to get up there. I wonder if the silver pants guys hate the blue uniforms. <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have wore these tight Italian underthings. Why do you think we'll make it? I think we're doing fine. Hold it. Jeez, they keep spawning. I am officially hot in this suit. <laughs> Oil and bag people. Mm 
Whoa, where's the ladder? We're right on top of them. The four squad is blocking the main exit. So we've got them trapped. That's a beautiful hike. Only a matter of minutes now. That was a stroke of genius, sir. Need a light, sir? Don't congratulate me too quickly. Hmm? Rimsky Korsakov's delightful spike descending, written originally for the ballet. Oh, rope burns on the willy. <laughs> oh, I'm getting tingly. Team building through outward bound. Good boy. It's easy. But you're so big and brave, Trash. This is easy and fun. I'm building my pecs as I'm evacuating the Bronx. <laughs> my wallet. Baby, hold on to me. Oh, God, he's snugger than ever. Alfred Hitchcock's rope. Not the movie, they just borrowed his rope. <laughs> Go ahead, that way. <laughs> oh, fine, here's your stupid rope. Wow, we must be in God mode with unlimited ammo. Let's go, move. Ah! Looks like vanity. <laughs> New York City ran out of cops today. I should have known. Quick. Strawberry quick, that's what I'm thirsty for. Ah! Me too, me too, I wanna die. Thank you. Ah! Shoot them all. We'll make more. <laughs> oh. Why, you murdering little rat? <laughs> yeah. You're going down next, Dad. Let's go. So tell me honestly, what do you think of my security force? <laughs> we were about to run off the ledge anyway. <laughs> I repeat. My face is long. <laughs> But if they get into the Bronx with all those gangs, I cannot guarantee it. Mm -mm. Say Mr. Clark is in danger? Absolutely. Man from Uncle Swish Pan. There's a risk that they will kill him. Hello? I will talk with you later. Ah. Methadone. Eight o'clock coffee. No sugar, you idiot. How many times do I have to tell you? No sugar. It makes me crazy. Crazy. <laughs> And why do you want to be a scale model here at Conglomco? Vroom, vroom. <laughs> hmm? What? You like that, huh? You like it when I touch your penthouse? Huh? Yeah, yeah. You don't like me, do you? You think you're better than me. I'm getting all of your names. You, your name, and you. Mm -hmm. I got yours. And ha! You. <laughs> yeah, all right. Same time tomorrow then. Okay. Thank you for your time. Don't look at me as I walk away. I'm leaving. Bye. Ah, what a jerk that guy is. Hey, Condo, you like that guy? Nah. I am an architect at a small Midwestern Bronx. The first building was Neo-Roman in style, and more later. Miss Gibbs? Not here. Take down a press communique. No. Our president, mm -hmm. Mr. Clark... Yeah, Green, I'll take care of that. ...has been kidnapped by a, a group of Bronx criminals. Good. Their demands are absurd. They want crappies nailed to every lamppost. Huh? Ten million dollars, but they'll kill him in cold yes. blood. These are not people fighting for their homes, um, but we, crooks, we gotta, hungering after money and blood, just, especially blood. Because the time they give us to collect this enormous sum mm -hmm. is ridiculous. It's none time. Which they know perfectly well. Thank you, Wise Wall. They're right on top of us. The tunnel there. Okay. You gotta take me to the party. I have to go. Wait there. If you're into creeping around corners, this is your movie. Mm. I heard of Ibixes. Maybe not. Ah, this is from the Hard to Find Tools catalog. Yeah. 
Thank you, Brookstone. I knew this would come in handy. Whoop. Damn, buck fever is a real problem with these silver guys. Mm -hmm. Real hard to find genuine Ringo caps anymore. Come on. Fourth squad went off on the wrong track, sir. They fell into some kind of trap, but the fifth squad had them cornered near the main Stepping off the junction. line. That's one small step for a man. This is the end of the line. If we let them get away from us this time, there will not be a second chance. Is that okay? Are you there? Of course, the president. Put your mother on. It was his life that I was talking about. <laughs> okay. A completely new outdoor walking scene. Stevie Nicks. Come in with me. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Gotta bring eggshells to school tomorrow, Dad. So this is the basement of the Bronx, huh? You guys have any problem with seepage down here? Hey, they made it. Hmm. Here they come. Get out. Hit it, girls. <laughs> Mr. Sinatra coming through. My people love me. They love my housing developments. Thank you. Get Richard Dreyfus. Get him. If ever a scene cried out for Toblerone. Oh. Yeah, what are they going to do? Tap dance him to death? <laughs> Wait, this could be it. With yes, 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 there he is. Yes, <laughs> yes Toby. <laughs> Just drink him in. Stand back! Oh, do it. Yes. I'm warning you. You will answer for this. Before a court of law. You can't handle the truth. Sure, sure. Oh, well, guys, you did it. Nice going, Trash. Congratulations. Splink? Aren't those earrings a bit dressy? Now, let me see what a president looks like. He got two hearts. Two hearts? Two legs. Just like us! <laughs> we have Toblerone laugh. Yes. I admit I don't get it. So here the mother finally is. Oh! Uh, mm. I like to kill him! Uh, it hurts. I like to it's cut it's his throat. It's so but if I do, we can't negotiate. And now? I'm so lucky to study with him. <laughs> they will listen to us! They want the day president back. <laughs> Frankly, I'm not into tell their own. The bar, the bar, the disinfectants, they're outside, preparing an all-out attack. <gasps> Richard Carpenter's The Fog. <laughs> get! 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 There's a trade treaty here? Get Huggy Bear, Michael Jackson, Mickey Dolenz, Randy Quaid, Bob Dylan, a Huggy Bear again. Somebody grab the coffee. Let, get the horses out of the barn. Come on, people, we're circus. We're bigger than this. Help me move my record albums. Oh, man, those Annie Sprinkle performances. Oh. Quick, get to the halls of medicine. <laughs> Rat tat tat. Come on. Come on. <laughs> please please me. Look, it says Arnie Sacknoson. Hey, Jimmy's ditching. Uh, it's not worth bending down for. Come on. We have down payment assistance if that's a problem. Oh, they shot the asthmatic Nazi. Okay, I did something like this at a management seminar once. The Monopoly guy has escaped. Mm, board's bad. Mm. <laughs> I get my puffer. <laughs> Is this the end for bilge? Trash. Hey, someone put the trash out. <laughs> <laughs> rats, get the rats off me. <laughs> hey, fudge is buff. Mm. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> wow, the Bronx has never been so densely populated. Apparently, some of you do not want to leave the Bronx. As a first step, we urge you to try thinking outside the Bronx. Hi, kill us! Thank you! <laughs> you guys, you know, I normally like a movie with silver guys jumping out of trucks, but I gotta say I'm a bit uh, disappointed with this one. Yeah. Okay, but hurry and wash up. So anyway, I was saying, Wrangler! Please, Clark! You're one to Wrangler. I just see Mr. Clark, sir. Where? Right here. He just came out of East 6 exit. I'll take care of it. Personally. How? Three minutes and leave it in the shell. Don't worry. I'll wait. I wish he knew I liked him like this. Oh. <sighs> These porks little panties have to be jammed way up there by this time. <laughs> Not subletting, damn it. <laughs> These guys are dumber than invertebrates. <laughs> Joel West days in the Bronx. Get out of there, that's a good China. All I can say is I'm very, very happy to see you. Me too, sir. Ah, they're in love. Is there a bug on my shoulder? <laughs> oh, he died as he died. Dead. Jeez, everybody dressed like Randall P. McMurphy to leave the bronze. A oh, really bad time to do your storm windows. Okay, it's gonna climb up my window and change my storm ladders. Manny Raid! Man on the floor! Motion in the ocean, his air hose broke. Lots of bubbles, lots of trouble. <laughs> you know, as destroyed as the Bronx is, there's still a Kinko's on every corner. Leave the Bronx, Bronx, leave the Bronx, leave the Bronx, the Bronx, leave the Bronx, the Bronx, leave the Bronx. Hey, look, a perfectly good can of cream corn. <laughs> this infestation is just beyond these clowns. <laughs> well, all right, we're here in the K-Rock Superman. We're giving out a... Ah! Hey, rats, that was my van. Lindsey Buckingham, P.I. Well, that's taken care of. Did you bring me anything? Soon the rest will be over, too. And then you'll say goodbye. Not so hard. See you later, Mr. Wangler. See you, Mr. President. When do I get a key to the bathroom? Uh, you can let go now. Henry Silva, for all your Silva needs. Now he's mad. Racket ball at seven, Mr. Wangler. Wait, his target turned into a van. I just disinfestated the Bronx. I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> that one was just for fun. Sorry, my horn is out, so I'm just shooting. <laughs> oh, Trunk has been hitting the hunky shoulder. Ah, uh, finally the ultimate showdown between vaguely evil and somewhat ambiguous. He made one mistake. He parked. Yep. Maybe next time you'll yield the right of way. <laughs> he looks like a cross between a silverback gorilla and Eddie Van Halen. I wonder what burning Henry Silva smells like. Maybe I could salvage those wheel covers and I could get a van. I could have a real Max Party van. Woo! I see. Now, the movie has bookended itself, what with the explosion at the beginning and now this at the end, and all the explosions within the middle part. I don't know. Maybe I will leave the Bronx. <laughs> Go ahead and hate your neighbor. 
Go ahead and cheat a friend. Okay, Omega Man, you can move your stuff in now. Hi, Chunk. Hey, Flink. Oh, you're wondering how I keep my hair so full, aren't you? <laughs> no? No dialogue whatsoever? Okay. Sorry, my prepubescently androgynous offspring. <laughs> Trash! It's Moon. Come with us. Everyone call me Trash so I can see where you could get the idea my name is Trash. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, sure, whatever, goodbye. Hope you're rotten preschool, kid. Well, this just nipped my habit of watching movies with silver guys jumping out of trucks right in the bud. <laughs> Clean up in Burrow 5. <laughs> hey, this gives me an idea. I'll be right back. Bro? <laughs> of course, there was a Coppola in it. It's a pretty nice grouping of corpses they got going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no. Know, Wish I wasn't here right now. Leave <laughs> Bronx, leave 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 Bronx, baby, leave Bronx, leave Bronx, Okay, that's good. Stop that! I think we can stop it. Come on, leave the boat out. Leave the boat. What I say? Leave the boat. Stop it. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Separate uh -huh. ways. That's great. You did a great job. Like this is lick. Dolby Stereo reminding you to leave the Bronx. <laughs> hey, where's Tom Alicious? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he was ordered to leave the Bronx. <laughs> That's not funny. Sorry. Can we read a letter? Yeah, let's read a letter. Okay. Well, I got a nice letter All right, here right from here. Ben Keep Hurt. it steady there, baby. Yeah. Easy, uh -huh. easy, easy. <laughs> uh, hi, Tom. Hi there. <laughs> hey, where'd you get the helicopter? No, it's just a rental. It's not mine. Well, who's flying it? I don't know. Some guy works for the company. Rick, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, can we read this letter here? Yeah, better hurry, because I'm on the clock here. Uh, right, okay. Yeah. It's from uh, Ben Hurt. Ben Hurt? got some nice... Ben Hurt. Ah, thank ben you. Hurt, and he's got some nice pictures here. Put that on still store, Cambot. Oh, Very Look at lovely. Bro. Help me, I'm grown. Nice rendition. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, uh, he says, uh, I'm your biggest fan, and I've seen all your shows, and I have to say, each one is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Ah, progressive enjoyment. Uh, okay, whatever. You guys are so funny. I just have one question. Where do Crow, Tom Sturmo, and Gypsy sleep? Wherever the hell we want! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot, Ben. That's a great letter. Okay, bring me up, Rick. Bye-bye, fellas. Okay, bye-bye, then. Bye-bye. Bye. Odd little guy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Clayton! Clayton, what is that infernal noise? Clayton! I'm eating cereal, mother. Clayton, that noise, make it stop. Oh, all right, you crazy old loon. Hey, keep it down! I got my mother in a home over here! You don't like my laughing, eh? <laughs> if you could just keep it down just a little bit. <laughs> 
Hey, what you in there for? I hear of a jack in the box, but I never hear of a lady in the box! <laughs> uh, it's really a personal matter. You shut up. Yes, shutting up. And you? You come with me, you beautiful lady. <laughs> Eat my dust, Clayton. I'm going off with this beautiful olive-skinned man. <laughs> well, drive safely. Uh, uh, it's been an odd day. Ha, 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 ha.